Not keeping accurate records is one of the biggest ways people suck at poker. Most recreational players do try to keep a running tally of their wins and losses, but the truth is, people naturally downplay their losses and only remember their wins. There's a lot of people out there who really believe that they're breaking even or better at poker. If they kept accurate and honest records, they'd be forced to be honest with themselves and work harder on improving their games. And if you are a winning player, it's really important to keep good records to know how much you're winning and where most of your profits are coming from. If you're just playing online poker, keeping a detailed record is super easy. Just buy a quality software program like Poker Tracker or Hold'em Manager and check out the articles on PokerListings.com to find out how to use it. Live poker results are a lot tougher to track, and since a lot of players are taking money directly out of the ATM every time they play, this is where most recreational players get into trouble. The easiest way to get started is to use your smartphone or a simple journal and write down the most important information about every session right after you play. At the very least, you should be keeping track of how much you win or lose each day, as well as a running tally of your all-time wins or losses. After a few months, you'll start to get a really clear idea of whether you're actually winning or losing. Either way, keeping a record is going to help motivate you to work harder and improve your game. On a weekly or monthly basis, spend some time transferring the information from your phone or your journal to a spreadsheet program like Excel. Once you start keeping track of more than just your wins and losses, Excel will make it really easy to analyze all the information. There are tons of helpful statistics that you can track beyond just how much you're winning and losing. Some of the most important include when, where, and for how long you played each session, what game you were playing, and the opponents that you were up against. Once you've got a bit of history down on paper, you can analyze that information and use it to make better decisions about when and where you play. For example, you might find out that almost all your profits come from playing cash games at the casino just on the weekends, or that you're actually losing a ton against just a couple really good players. Use this information to focus on your strengths and avoid or improve the spots that are costing you money. And if you live in a country that taxes gambling winnings, it's really important to keep a good record so you can deduct your losses and not pay too much tax when you do hit a big score. On the next episode of How Not to Suck at Poker, we'll explain why discussing hands with better players is the single best way to take your poker game to the next level.